welcome back okay today we are going to talk about what's in my hospital bag for the fourth baby if you're new here my name is alexis and i have three kids currently expecting my fourth i'm due any day now i'm actually 39 weeks today so i thought it was finally time to pack some hospital bags i'm going to show you guys what i'm packing for the baby and myself um, I have this little bag that I got off of Amazon, super cute for all the baby stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I will try to link everything below, um, especially this diaper bag. It is so pretty. And like I said, it's from Amazon, so it's cheaper than some of the other leather diaper bags like this. But I thought it was really adorable. So I'll link it below. Okay, first thing in the bag, this is the only bag that I'm gonna carry in like when we go in for labor. I don't really have a lot of stuff that I'm gonna take for myself for labor, mainly just my phone charger um, and some chapstick. So that's really all you need unless you're gonna be there for multiple hours. Okay, for baby, I packed I also have my little tripod, so hopefully we can get some footage for the birth vlog. Okay, these are for postpartum, but um, they're for me. After ease drops, you put a little in your water and it helps with the contractions that you're going to have after birth. I'll link these below too. They're also from Amazon. Okay, and for baby, I'm not packing a lot. Um, you'll notice there are no diapers and wipes that I'm packing because they provide you that they provide you with that at the hospital so there's no need to fill up space in my bag but I'm going to take a few different options for some photos so here is a little knotted gown that I got him in this hunter green color it's really long because you can make a knot in it with a little matching hat that you'll tie a knot right here too. So there's that. Phone chargers. I have this little swaddle with the matching hat. The green one is from Amazon, I'll try to link it. This one is from Lulu and Company. It's a really pretty blue color. It's a hat and it matches this swaddle. This swaddle is really big, thick, and nice. So I'm not gonna unroll the whole thing, but you get the idea. So I think I'm gonna do that for his like announcement picture. with his little name plates. I'm not, I'm not showing, I'm not trying to like hide the name. We just aren't 1000%. So anyways, this is his little name plate and you can write like the date and the time and the weight on these. Got these from Etsy. Some basic pacifiers, just in case. I have these little hats that I ordered off Amazon. Um, they're kind of like hospital hats, but they're cute. They have the little ears. So here's a plain white one and then a blue striped one. Oh, here's another one. The gray striped one. Here's some little booties. These are from Burt's Bees, but I got them on Amazon. And these are the little mittens that match. Okay, I think this is his coming home outfit, but I have a few different options as well. This is really, really cute. It's a little, it's just plain white. And it has the little pants that have the footies at the bottom that you can roll. 
So I'm thinking that for his coming home outfit. Is there a glare? They sell these at like the children boutiques and stuff like Lulu and company. But um, this one is from Amazon and it's, it's really nice material for like half the price. This is another coming home option. Little brother with some pants. Here's some little socks. Mama, let me do dogs. Sam? Yeah, that's big baby feet. Little baby socks. No, baby big. Okay, and then just some sleepers just in case um, we're there for a couple days or whatever. Just a little basic zip up sleeper. And here's another one in blue. These are from Target. I'm going to pack this little sound machine. This is called, this is the Hush, I believe. It's on Amazon. It has really good ratings. Yeah, the Hush. But um, we might try that out in the hospital. And then just some swaddles. So I have this Velcro swaddle. They give you blankets, obviously, in the hospital to swaddle, but um, some hospitals actually provide you with Velcro swaddles. Our previous hospital gave us a Halo swaddle, which is amazing, but just in case they don't, I'm packing two different ones. I'm packing this one, the basic swaddle with the Velcro that goes like this. This is Ziggy Baby. It's from Amazon. It came in a three pack. So I have that one and then I have the Halo, which these are my favorite. These are amazing. They un Velcro. So you can zip them up. You put them in and they zip and then Velcro. So it's like double protection. These are really good. Okay, I think this is the last thing, but it's just a little, a simple little blanket to bring him home in his car seat from the hospital. This is also from Target. Okay, that is all for the baby. Now we're gonna move on to what I'm packing for myself. Okay, for my bag, um, well, I'm also gonna be taking a boppy I highly recommend taking a bobby pillow to the hospital. It just makes breastfeeding easier. So there's that. And then this is my bag that I'm taking. It's just a, a little carry-on bag, but let's see what we're taking. Okay, first, um, some toiletries. So that's everything I have in this bag. Just your basic toiletries. This is nice, it can hang up in the bathroom. But toothbrush, toothpaste, little travel size shampoo, conditioner, stuff like that. And then you wanna make sure you're gonna take some shower shoes because who knows how many people have stepped in those showers. So basic shower shoes. My bag is kind of boring, the baby bag is the fun stuff, but I thought I would show you guys in case you're a first time mom and you're wondering what to bring for the hospital. Don't overpack, I promise you. You're just gonna pretty much live in a pair of leggings anyways, but I'm gonna show you what I'm taking anyways. Okay, you will probably wanna take a nursing bra. So I got um, a three pack from Amazon and they're really nice. I am packing a robe. This is a pretty one. Who is this by? My mom got me this, but it is from Posh Peanut. So I think you can get these on Amazon. They have a lot of different prints and stuff. And they also have ones that like match different baby swaddles. So I have this pretty one. 
And I also have one that I got from Target. So I don't know which one I'm going to take yet. The one from Target is kind of like a Barefoot Dreams dupe. So I'm really excited about that one as well. Okay, then we have a nursing tank. I'll probably end up wearing this instead of the nursing bra, honestly. Just over some leggings. And then these are the leggings I got. I just typed in postpartum leggings on Amazon and this is what came up with some really good reviews. They're not too tight, they're high rise. So they'll be nice and cozy after baby's born. And then I have some pajamas, just some shorts and a button up shirt. The button up shirt is probably the biggest thing I can recommend if you're going to be nursing other than the nursing tank. So this is just a little pajama set from Target that buttons up and matches these shorts. And then you'll want a coming home outfit. So I'm probably just going to wear the leggings. Hi. Hi. And then a t-shirt, just like a basic t-shirt to come home in. Either that or like a cardigan. So I packed both just in case, even though it's the middle of summer, I'll probably just wear the t-shirt. Okay, now the hospital will provide you with like pads and all that kind of stuff that you're going to need for yourself postpartum, but they're usually really giant pads. So to come home, I packed just a couple like normal size pads. And I also packed a couple of these adult diapers. I haven't tried these yet, but um, like I said in a previous video, I've had friends that have used them and they're, they love them. So we'll see whatever I feel like using on the way home. And um, I'm probably not going to use this in the hospital, but I thought I would share anyways. It is a belly band. This one's from Amazon has really good reviews. Um, it's actually two separate pieces and normally you can't wear it right after birth because you're still, your stomach's still pretty far out. But by the time I get home, I'll be able to wear this. Okay, and then the last thing I'm packing are some snacks. Um, they obviously provide you with meals and stuff and I'll have Andrew to go wherever to get snacks and stuff. So I didn't pack much, but I did pack some lactation cookie bites I had these with Eden and they work really, really good. Actually, I would say be careful and don't eat too many of them or you'll be engorged. But these are the Milk Makers Lactation Cookie Bites. I got chocolate salted caramel and oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. They sell them in the packs like this at Walmart and Target or you can get a big pack on Amazon. And they really, really help your milk supply. Like warning and then I also packed some body armors these also really help your milk supply and within the first few days you don't really need to worry about that at all because the baby's belly is about this big and you're gonna be fine you're gonna have enough milk but I'm gonna pack these anyways for extra hydration and just something fun to drink okay that is gonna be all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope it gave you some ideas, especially if you're a first time mama, on what to bring and what not to bring to the hospital. Um, if you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, just say hi, let me know that you're here, and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the birth vlog, hopefully that will be my next video, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.